हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू दैट हाउ टू मेक अ सिंपल पोस्ट रिक्वेस्ट टू द जेसन प्लेस होल्डर ए पी आई विच इज अ फेक रेस्ट ए पी आई फॉर डेवलपर्स दिस इज अ एड्रेस ऑफ दिस ए पी आई जेसन प्लेस होल्डर डॉट टाइप को डॉट कॉम एंड वी विल बी मेकिंग ए पोस्ट रिक्वेस्ट टू दिस राउट हेयर स्लैश पोस्ट हेयर सो यू कैन जस्ट गो टू द राउट सेक्शन हेयर एंड यू कैन सी दैट यू कैन मेक अ गेट रिक्वेस्ट इफ आई गो टू दिस राउट हेयर स्लैश पोस्ट इट विल बी गेटिंग दिस पोस्ट हेयर you will get a json response like this you can always make this a post request also to this route also so if you drag down you will see that you can just make a post request also so i will be showing you that how to make a post request using in javascript so just make a empty uh, index.html file and here you just need to write a title which will be post request in json placeholder api and now basically we have to have a simple form and inside this form i will be giving a id to it of form so that i can target it in javascript and we will be having two input fields first it will be holding the title of the post and secondly it will hold the body of the post so next i will give the id of body and next we will have a simple submit button so value will be just post like this so basically if now if i refresh the application this is holding if i refresh it you will see that this is my this uh, title and the body let me also give a placeholder so that you can better see this is a title and uh, this is a body and also let me just make it as required so this will hold us for the validation also and one of the property of auto complete to off that's it and now inside this we need to grab the jquery so that we can use the post method in jquery so we can just write here jquery post oh sorry jquery cdn and the very first link which comes in this w3schools.com click this link and include jquery cdn so this is the jquery cdn copy this line and paste it just after the body tag and now we will write the custom javascript and inside this first of all we need to get the reference of the form so we can just write the statement document dot uh, get element by id form after getting the reference we can just bind a simple event handler so when the form submits like this a callback function will execute which will hold the event object so we will just have to uh, initialize this line e dot prevent default it will prevent the auto submission of the form here and now after that we can just get the title of the post like this document dot get element by id and uh, we can just get the title dot value so this will grab the value and secondly we can get the body as well like this document dot get element by id S document and here we can just provide body dot value S dollar dot post we can just use the jquery method here and this is a url that we will be using here this is a json placeholder url so let me just copy paste this url here this is the url so we can just copy paste the url here and uh, we can just pass the data as well first we can just pass the title to the title that we have and plus the body as well so the body and then the callback function will execute holding the response here we can just console log the console log data and now basically if i refresh the application here i if i give a title and if i have a body here click on post and now you will see that we have 
receive the object here with the title and the body. So basically we have also got a ID of unique ID of 101 signifying that this is a successful response. We have made a successful post request. So now we have just to summarize it. We have used this post method here dollar dot post which is of jQuery. We have passed the URL to whatever URL that we are making this post request. Secondly inside this curly brackets we are passing the data. So in this case we are passing title of the post and the body of the post. And thirdly this is a callback function which is received by the API which is holding this data. Now we are just displaying this console log data like this. So basically let, let's suppose I again submit some values. Let me give a title and body here. Click on post here. You will see that it will again receive an object here. You can see that title body and this ID is 101. So in this way you can just make a successful post request using the JSON placeholder fake rest API for developers inside JavaScript. So thanks very much for watching this video.